Morning. Morning. <laughs> morning. Listen, morning. Listen to that here. morning. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's like a band over here. Yeah. So we're gonna go get some ice for this pig. We kind of melted all the ice, and yeah. You guys stay tuned for what's next. All right, guys. Just got done eating breakfast at this small little place right here. Be familiar. It was good. In town, best burrito oh, right there. That's a burrito right there. I got one left over. I only got one and it filled me. And you were able to put whatever you wanted in it and the tortilla was like homemade, so it was like thick. So good, 100% for four bucks. All right guys, so after eight million trips to, nine, <laughs> nine million trips to um, Stanford, the great town, by the way, you know, a lot of corn, not even cornfields, <laughs> A lot of not even cornfields. <laughs> corn Just a bunch of cotton fields. It's a lovely drive, but we've gone there nine thousand times. We keep forgetting things. Needed a lighter. Needed this and. You know, you'd think we'd make a list and just get it all at once. No, that's not how we are. We just go get it, come back, need more, need more go back. Like, I kid you not, we've been there uh, fourteen times. at least 14 times today. Kid you not. But the last time, we, <laughs> I mean, we had a bad propane tank. Yeah, we had a bad propane tank. We're going to start cooking up here, guys. Um, We got that pig that I shot last night. Let me show you guys what we got going on. But... This is what we got going on. We got some peppers, we got onion, soy sauce, baby corn, and some seasoned meat. Where's that seasoned meat at? Uh, in the cooler. We seasoned up some of that meat in there. <sighs> Smells delicious. Got enough butter in the pan, I think. I'm gonna go for a stir fry, like a like an Asian stir fry, because stickers off though. Yeah, I don't think those would taste good. We're gonna get this cooked up, guys. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, so it's almost eating time, but that, that's looking good, as you guys clearly saw. <laughs> <laughs> she done. Oh, no, but you got to turn it back on. Oh, it's a sa It's like I said, yeah. it's a safety. I got to lose more hair. <laughs> oh, man, it's hot, too. Oh, thank you. There you go. So it has a safety mechanism on it. You actually got to turn a timer on it. I think it's set for 15 minutes, like max. Man. Feels pretty good for deer or hog camp. Yeah. What do you guys like to do with your pigs? That sounds weird, but <laughs> what do you guys, how do you guys prepare your wild boar, you know? Because this is going to be actually my first time eating wild boar. Obviously, that was my first kill. So this is going to be my first time trying it. And honestly, I think this is going to be a good way to try it. All right, y'all. So. Got it all cooked up. It's actually looking really good. It's looking really lie. good. Like, really good. I got to hand it to Heath. He he cooked most of it, but that's looking, as you guys saw, that's looking really good. I want to actually get like. It's like a stir fry, more like a southern stir fry. Yeah, definitely. But it's just soy sauce in there. Oof. Stab some of that. If you could stab into the meat with a plastic fork. Oh yeah, you know it's like the dinner. Mmm. It's hot. Warm. Oh, I'm for sure. <laughs> What'd you give it? Me, this is like, I can't even tell. You can't tell it's wild at all. Mm -mm. At all, I could give this to We've had it sitting on his ice for about 12, 15 hours, maybe. And it's drained all that bloody water out. And that's the key to getting the gaminess out of the meat. You drain all that blood out, and you'll get good meat. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's all cob right there, honestly. <laughs> Couldn't stab it. Oh. <laughs> it was like just the cob of it. Todd, why got tossed everything next to my tent? Like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> We're got some raccoons up in here. Literally, it's tossed every bit of scrap right there. <laughs> You're just gonna wake up in the middle of the night, boom! <laughs> yeah. Man, it's gonna be an exciting night. Um, we're gonna head out fishing today and get on with the day. And then we'll probably catch you guys in the stands if we don't catch any fish. So, 
All right, guys, we're about to head out. Um, we're gonna head back into the stands. Heath is gonna take my stand tonight. Um, I'm gonna hunt the stand that he was in last night. Uh, just cause, you know, I already got my pig. That, that, that stand seemed to be really hot and he's actually gonna go on the ground blind with a shotgun. He's gonna hunt um, right by those cactuses. Cacti. 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 Right by the cacti. Cactus. It's right by the cactus. <laughs> right by the cactus. He's gonna set up, which he's gonna be really close to that feeder, like extremely close. So that's gonna be some awesome footage. So jump on over and watch his video, Native Texan Outdoors. Um. <laughs> um. So yeah, go on over, check him out. Uh, we're gonna get into the stand, guys. Um. I gotta ride the four wheeler, so let's jump to that. So on that last stand, I did not have time to talk. Nothing. It was a three by three. I had to stay really quiet. This thing's a mansion compared to the other one. And it's definitely a lot cooler. I don't know if that could just be today's weather, but it's a lot better for blind. I like this blind. Honestly, I could do an all night stay here. Like, I could, I'd have no problem staying here all night. So, y'all stay tuned. seen so far is one deer, three raccoons, and a rabbit. Not bad. At least we're seeing stuff. Some big raccoons. Yeah, Andrew, those are huge raccoons. I know. My boy Andrew from Pennsylvania. It's got to be almost 8 o'clock. So, it's almost game time. Fingers crossed. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. He's down. Big boar. Hit the floor. Yeah, I know what's Alright, guys. Going. Didn't have to track him at all. We actually went back, picked up Heath. I had an interesting afternoon. Y'all can go click back and see it on my channel. 
Damn. How do we? How do we? Uh, uh, I really don't know. Keith is gonna take off on the four wheeler. He's heading back to the truck. We're actually gonna need a better technique to uh, uh, get this pig out of here. He's just so big. Um, golly, look at the size of him. Um, yeah, he's just too big to try to manhandle out of here. Um, but I got my trophy pig, that's for sure. Thank you, Lord. Man. Smoked him. Shout out to Lee Paul. Out here. <laughs> Fingers off the trigger. <laughs> but, yeah, he left me this guy just in case something comes up on us. Or comes up on me. Lone Texas Ranger. Beep. Beep. Here, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. You made it. And I didn't die. I think I found the trail. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's a little easier to get to and fro. Gotcha. Well, I dragged him out of the pen. All right, guys, so I'm doing this on my GoPro here just because we got chance of rain coming in. So last night I dropped this hog. Um, but we ran into four-wheeler problems as you can still see we still have four-wheeler problems So I threw my shirt over it and back the quad over it just so nothing would mess with it and uh, Give you guys a view of them. Let me get this off of them. Okay, let me roll the quad off of them make them look better My hands are about nine inches from thumb to pinky. Golly. That's a big boar. Look at them marking cutters. Hell yeah. Sharp. Put your finger seriously down that. Don't run it hard. That's Shh. a knife. That's like a knife. Man, you ain't kidding. Look at this. Them cutters. Look. No joke. Yeah. That hoof. This thing is massive. Um, man, for it to just be my second pig, I'm I'm stoked. This thing is just a monster. Ugh, I can't roll him, <laughs> he's too stiff now. But, got some awesome experience here. Whew, you stink. But, just a great hog to harvest, you know. Get this one off the property. The landowner was thrilled about it. You know, this is definitely one of the bigger ones that were here. This one's about 250 pounds, I'd say. We don't have a scale available to us, but just the sure mass of it, like belly. He is a big, old, mature hog. Came in all alone, didn't have anyone with him, just a grumpy old man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna try to get this thing out of here, you know, maybe quarter him up. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Heath ended up running into technical difficulties, so we had to cut it short by one day. I'll catch you guys out on the line next time.